Chaos erupted following the shooting with Chicago police and a young man investigators say was in his late teens to early 20s. Three officers responded to a call about a person with a gun. They had confronted him. He fled on foot. Short foot pursuit. During the foot pursuit, the offender turned and fired shots at the officers. The officers then returned discharging their weapons. A short time after, as detectives were processing the crime scene, a large group gathered, leading to tense moments between officers and neighbors. This right here is a direct response to one agitator being on the scene, getting people all worked up without having the full story. DPD became aware of several social media posts encouraging looting downtown. This was not an organized protest. Rather, this was an incident of pure criminality. This was an act of violence against our police officers and against our city. Oh, shit. This is a very emotional, painful thing for many people to see here this morning. They ripped the boards off the walls again. Uh, this is the third time we've boarded up since May. There was, was a certain level of coordination among these groups that were basically sweeping across the streets of downtown Chicago, and this is the end result. I'll get out of the way. This is actually the entrance. This video shows large groups of people shattering glass, going into stores as well. Not clear what sparked this. The flashpoint incident in the Englewood community last night involving a police officer shooting uh, was not involving an unarmed minor. In fact, it was a 20-year-old armed individual with a criminal record. A foot chase ensued. The individual fled. He turned around. He fired upon the police. The police returned fire. Um, he was hit, I believe, in the shoulder um, and is recovering from those injuries. But I want to be very, very clear. This was not an unarmed juvenile, unfortunately, as uh, being propagated on social media. This all began at about midnight. Uh, authorities say large groups of looters targeted high-end stores and businesses on Michigan Avenue, also known as the Magnificent Mile. Police were trying to arrest a looter who walked out of this 7-Eleven with a cash register. I'm told by the owner three cash registers and the ATM was stolen from the 7-Eleven in Wabash and Lake. Uh, the officers were attempting to stop uh, these looters. Police say that... Uh, the offenders fired shots at the officers and then officers returned fire. We actually were there when this store, this specific store, the Paul Young Fine Jeweler, was getting looted. I think the only thing that really sparked it was the belief that they could do it, um, that they don't seem to have any fear of law enforcement. Uh, I've watched multiple times, I've watched cars, cars full of looters have driven right around all the police barricades uh, and all the police cars that have been set up. Uh, and they've walked right past police officers uh, stationed on the sidewalk and started looting a store. So they have no fear whatsoever of the police. It, it almost sounds as though you're saying this is the reason we have it is because the courts and the prosecutors were not doing their job, that they were going too easy on the looters from the last time around. Is, uh, am don't, I don't take you? it from me. Just go by what's been done. I'm just asking I don't, I don't want to do your job for you, but just go by what's been done. There was, there were no consequences for the people arrested. What occurred in our downtown and surrounding communities was abject criminal behavior, pure and simple. And there cannot be any excuse for it, period. This is not legitimate First Amendment uh, protected speech. These were not poor people engaged in petty theft to feed themselves and their families. This was straight up felony criminal conduct. Criminals took to the streets with confidence that there would be no consequences for their actions. And I, for one, refuse to allow these cowardly acts to hold our city hostage. TPD will not stand by as our beautiful downtown becomes someplace that people fear.